All right. Good afternoon and welcome to Master Talker online class. We are still on differentiation and I'm going to show you how to find the minimum, maximum value and point of inflation. Please, you need to note something. I'm going to use this example to explain everything. You need to note something that if y is a function of x, okay, the second derivative of this y, if it is less than zero, if you differentiate two times and that thing you get is less than zero, please, we are going to get what? A maximum value less than no is giving us maximum greater than zero is giving us what minimum why if it's equal to zero that we're having what point of inflation so let's do this find the minimum and maximum point of the of this equation okay i can say let's uh of let me just say of y which is equal to this okay i'm having that y is equal to 3x sorry x is power 3 over 3 minus x raised power 2 over 2 minus 6x plus 3 okay now let us do this please if you want to find the minimum and maximum point point of a maximum value sorry the first thing you need to get is the critical point and how do you get the critical point just differentiate once equate it to zero and find that x that x you are finding is called the critical point okay Please, the first thing you will do is to find the critical point by differentiating once and equal to zero. So to find, to find the critical, critical points, so what do we do? We differentiate once. dy dx is equal to the differentiate is what? 3x squared over 3 minus 2x over 2 minus 6. So which we give is equal to what? Zero. So what do I have? This cancel, I'm having x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to zero. So let's solve this thing to get our, uh, the critical points. So solving this equation, factorize, factorizing the equation, I'm having what? That x squared minus x minus 6 is equal to zero. So I'm having x squared minus uh, 3x plus 2x minus 6 is equal to 0. So what do we have now? We're having that. We're having that what? x bracket x minus 3. x minus 3. I'm having a plus 2 here is equal to 0. So which means I'm having x minus 3 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. So I'm having a what? x is equal to minus 3 or x is equal to what? x is equal to 3 or minus 2. Now, these two things we got are the critical points, okay? But I don't know the one that is the, uh, the maximum point or the minimum point. I don't know if 3 is the maximum point or minus 2 is the maximum point. So let us check. Let us check what it is. Let's check. Let's check the one that will give us the, the minimum or the maximum point. So let's differentiate again. The squared y over the x squared is differentiating the answer you got. Let's differentiate this one. To differentiate this one, I'm having 2x minus 1. 2x minus 1 because this one is 0. Now, at point, let me take the first one. x is equal to 3. Let's know what we have. The squared y over the x squared should be equal to 2 bracket 3 minus 1, which is what? 2 times 3, 6. 6 minus 1, 5. Now, if you see that this 5 now is greater than 0, so therefore, this man x, so therefore, x equal to 3 is the, I told you greater than 0 is giving us a minimum, is the minimum point. Not the minimum value, the minimum point. So let's check the next one. So let's check the next one. At, at x equal to minus 2, let's check. I'm having that what? The squared y over the x squared is equal to 2x minus 1, which is what? 2 into minus 2 minus 1, which is what? This time this, 4 minus 1, which is what? Uh, sorry, minus 4 minus 1, which is what? Minus 5. And minus 5 is less than 0. Since minus 5 is less than 0, this point... This one, x is equal to minus 2, is what? The what? The maximum. Maximum point. I told you that less than 0 is giving us maximum point. 
greater than zero is giving us minimum point. So to find the maximum value is using your maximum point. Sorry, to find maximum value is using your maximum point to substitute in that first equation that we are given. Okay? So to get our maximum point, to get our maximum point, they gave us that y is equal to um, x raised to power 3 over 3 uh, minus x raised to power 2 over 2, I think uh, minus 6x plus 3. Okay, so minimum value. Is y is equal to minimum value is at what point? Minimum value is given us at when x is equal to what three. So put it here. You're having three raised to power three over three minus three raised to power two over two minus six into three plus three. So anything you get by doing this thing is now your what minimum value. The value is the y part, the point is the x part. So if you get x is the minimum point. If you get y, is the minimum value. So what do we get? So, so what do we have now? For the maximum, for the maximum value, I'm having that what? It should be at point where? Point x is equal to minus 2. So what do we have now? We now have that y is equal to what? Um, 2 raised to power 3 over 3 minus 2 raised to power 2 over 2 minus 6 into 2 plus 3. So when you do this thing, you have got to your what? Your maximum value. Okay? To get point of inflection, you know that we just solve to get the critical point. To get point of inflection is just from the second derivative. From the second derivative, this is the squared y over the x squared is equal to what? 2x minus 1. Equate it to 0 and get what is your x. So which is what? 2x is equal to 1. So x is equal to what? Uh, 1 over 2. This 1 over 2 now is the point of inflation. Because if you put 1 over 2 here, it will make the squared y over the x squared 0. Which is what? The point of inflation. So how do you get minimum and maximum value? The first thing you do is to find your critical points by differentiating once and equate it to 0. Solve it to get your critical point. Now, if the first one you get is less than zero, okay, getting the two of them, we don't know the one that will be minimum point or maximum point, okay? What do we do? We differentiate the second time. Equate it there. If you get less than zero, you are having what? Less than zero is giving us what? Maximum point. Greater than zero is giving us what? Minimum point. In fact, this thing has shown that what? When x is negative, when x is negative, we are getting maximum uh, value. But when x is positive, we are getting a minimum value. So, thank you very much for watching and God bless you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe.